I've been up to the university du uh, during the lunch hour because I was doing the We Don't Know show earlier earlier today. Uh, I've, I've got you uh, Twitter Twitter open. Let me try try this other microphone. Yeah, microphone three is work, working okay. Um, on 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 there, there's there's um a tweet from the University of Exeter Heritage Collections, which is one of one of three, and it's got video cassettes, not video cassettes, audio cassettes, with numbers. They're all numbered, and I think I'm just going to go go back and look at look at all three of them. Yeah, here we, here we, it's because of the um, World Day for Audiovisual Heritage, which was on the uh, 28th, I'm pretty sure, 27th, sorry. But then they say that they're doing a survey of AV and digital materials, and they've identified 181 items. 21 reel-to-reel -reel tapes, 8 VHS tapes, and 70 cassettes. And there's a there's a photo, I'm going to retweet this. If you if you're following this at all, um, W E N O T N O is where you'll you'll find find these. Um, and then there's a a photograph of a stack. With, with those sort of windy things where the, the shells move around, and I th I think that might be the bottom of the main library, um, which I'll come back to in a moment or two, and then uh, once the survey's been complete, we'll have a better idea of all the AV materials, and the hash the and the hashtag is World Day for Audiovisual Heritage. Uh, and uh, I, I went. I, I did. I went up there, and I, I've, I went to the the new library, and I was told I had to go to the old library. And there's a a place called um, special collection, special collection, special library collections, and with, so the heritage collection is within that. But there's nobody there at the moment. Um, there is a postgraduate research hub, so th this ought to become part of um, research in some some sort of way, I, I guess. It's how it's how how it would work. Um, but then I went back to the old library, and in the in the basement where the journals used to be, well, it's the bottom f bottom floor. Um, all the printed journals seem to have gone, and that looks like the space that's in the in the photograph. And there they have got um, DVDs and VHS uh, tape. I'm pretty sure quite a lot of it, uh, but no no CDs as such. So I'm I'm wondering uh, what they what they consider heritage. Uh, it, look, it looks like um, audio tape, audio cassettes are definitely heritage, but D DVD and CD might not be. Um, I've been up to the university du uh, during the lunch hour, because so I was doing the We Don't Know show early, earlier today. Uh, I've, I've got huge... Uh, Twitter, Twitter open. Let me try try this other microphone. Yeah, microphone three is work, working okay. Um, on 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 there, there's there's um a tweet from the University of Exeter Heritage Collections, which is one of one of three, and it's got. Video cassettes, not video cassettes, audio cassettes, 
with numbers. They're all numbered. And I think I'm just going to go go back and look at look at all three of them. Yeah, here we here we. It's because of the um, World Day for Audiovisual Heritage, which was on the twenty uh, eighth. I'm pretty sure, twenty seventh. Sorry, but then they say that they're doing a survey of AV and digital materials, and they've identified one hundred eighty one items. 21 reel-to-reel -reel tapes, 8 VHS tapes, and 70 cassettes. And there's a... There's a photo, I'm going to retweet this. If, you, if you're following this at all, um, W-E-N-O-T-N-O -O is where you'll, you'll find, find these. Um, and then there's a, a photograph of a stack with with those sort of windy things where the, the shells move around and I, th I think that might be the bottom of the main library um, which I'll come back to in a moment or two and then uh, once the survey's been complete we'll have a better idea of all the AV materials and the, hash the, and the hashtag is World Day for Audiovisual Heritage uh, and uh, I, I went. I, I did. I went up there, and I, I, I went to the the new library, and I was told I had to go to the old library. And there's a a place called um, special collection, special collection, special library collections, and with, so the heritage collection is within that. But there's nobody there at the moment. Um, there is a postgraduate research hub, so th this ought to become part of um, research in some some sort of way, I, I guess. It's how it's how how it would work. Um, but then I went back to the old library, and in the in the basement where the journals used to be, well, it's the bottom f bottom floor. Um, all the printed journals seem to have gone, and that looks like the space that's in the in the photograph. And there they have got um, DVDs and VHS uh, tape. I'm pretty sure quite a lot of it, uh, but no no CDs as such. So I'm I'm wondering uh, what they what they consider heritage. Uh, look, it looks like um, audio tape, audio cassettes are definitely heritage, but D DVD and CD might not be. Um, anyway, the other thing to explain about my, my lunchtime trip to the university was the um, display by the Digital Humanities Lab. They've they've got a, a display in the Queen's Building of uh, graphics, so scans that they've done of the extra book and other other objects there, and they explain what they've got as being a podcast studio. I've been I've been thinking about it as a radio studio, but it's it's actually a, a radio a podcast studio with video. Uh, they've got video cameras as well and so that that sort of ties in maybe radio because I, I I sort of work with with um, radio and compact discs and it could be D DVD discs uh, with with the YouTube end, end of it and I'm um, I'm just wondering how that relates to digital humanities or libraries or heritage collection or what what is worth preserving in in a certain set of uh, approaches so i i find this all quite interesting i'll, I'll go I'll, I'll try and get back to it but if anybody's listening 
who's got some connection with it um, it would be good to, to, to get some more ideas about it W-E-N-O-T-N-O -O on Twitter or, or Will789GB or we have now got we have now got the phone working um, so that's that's a, another possibility but I'll, I'll, I'll try and try and find out what's going on with it um, it may be that audio cassettes have got to a status where they're part of a heritage collection and the compact disc hasn't yet and the DVDs and VHS tape at the bottom of the main bit of the library are just regarded as active live resources they're not in a heritage anyway but um, I'd, I'd like to argue that the compact disc is an artefact and probably the, the compact disc player is an artefact as, as well as the Sony Walk, Walkman and various uh, but I, I don't know quite where, because um, the, the, the background to this is the, the Central Library or, or Devon, Devon Libraries altogether uh, got rid of DVD and CD earlier this year I know they're scattered about they're all over extra people have got them 